welcome to live coverage of the 2023 Copa Libertadores, the club competition to crown the best team in South American football. This year, six-time winners Boca Juniors from Argentina are seeking a record equaling seventh title. They face the Brazilian giants Fluminense. Surprisingly, Rio-based Flu have never won the Copa, but many feel this could be their year, especially with the final taking place on their home ground, the magnificent Maracan Art. Well, this has been the unwavering focus of both clubs since securing their dates with Destiny just four weeks ago. It is one of club football's most prestigious, colourful and intoxicating occasions. Argentina and Brazil represented at an iconic venue. Pat Nevin, what are you looking forward to this evening? Well, first of all, a good game of football, but the passion. You cannot ignore the passion of one of the greatest games in world football every year. And uh, add on top of that is Brazil against Argentina, just to add a little bit more space if we needed any. So this is one that, uh, well, everyone in South America, but everyone should be looking forward to. Two of South America's most storied clubs. Eternal glory awaits one of them. Boca Juniors emerge for their 12th Copa Libertadores final. Six times they've claimed the Continental Crown. Twice, though, the showpiece occasion has been lost since their most recent success. Pressure, but also expectation that the 16-year wait ends here. As for Fluminense, well, they are Rio's oldest club, but the Libertadores is an accolade that has consistently eluded them. 15 years on from their only previous final, there is optimism that the stars have finally aligned. Form and the fortune of home soil are in their favour tonight. Many others have made the trip by road. There is one enforced change to the Boca side that started both legs of their semi-finals. Defender Marcos Rojos suspended and is replaced by Nicolas Valentini. However, two other former Manchester United players are involved. Goalkeeper Sergio Romero and Edinson Cavani. Valentin Barco is the emerging talent of this Boca side. Miguel Merentiel is a striker with four goals in his last three appearances. Well, as for Fluminense, two changes from the second leg of their semi-final. Right back, Samuel Javier returns from suspension, and midfielder Mateus Martinelli starts in this competition for the first time since the group stage. Captain Nino has recovered from that knee injury he suffered on international duty. 43-year-old goalkeeper Fabio makes a 100th Copa Libertadores appearance. Marcelo, once of Real Madrid, is out to complete the Europe and South American double five times. He won the Champions League during his time at the Bernabeu. Well, here we go. This is the end game. An historic night ahead. Either Boca's record equaling seventh Copa Libertadores triumph or a long overdue first for Fluminense. Dealing with the pressure, dealing with the anticipation and the expectation could be absolutely critical. And could well be the history makers. This Fluminense side potentially now going to be the first to win the Copa Libertadores. But it is, of course, a great time to be an Argentine football fan with the national side winning the World Cup and the great Lionel Messi once again crowned the best footballer on the planet. If you'd like to relive the story of how Messi finally succeeded in lifting the World Cup, well, here is something you will definitely want to watch. And Messi Destiny is streaming now on BBC iPlayer with an adjoining podcast also available for you via BBC Sounds. And there is lots more football on the way on the BBC this weekend, not least match of the day coming up tonight on BBC One at 20 past 10. Tomorrow we've got live WSL action, a huge match between title hopefuls, Arsenal taking on Manchester City, that's on BBC Two from 12.15. And later on Sunday it is the magic of the FA Cup first round with a really intriguing matchup between League One Charlton Athletic and... Cray Valley Paper Mills, who play in the eighth tier of English football. A big day in the Lisby household. Kyrell Lisby is Cray Valley's top scorer. His dad, Kevin, used to play there as well, but he's best known as a Charlton legend. Liam McDevitt went to see them. An ecstasy the like they have never tasted before. For the first time, 
Fluminense champions of South America, the winners of the Copa Libertadores in 2023. But we're not surprised, are we? Well, if you want to see how the celebrations continue, the trophy presentation will be available for you, along with the highlights via the BBC Sport website. It is a night of celebration and jubilation, jubilation for Fluminense, to spare for Boca Juniors. But from Pat Nevin and from me, Stephen Wyeth and the team, good night. Two of South America's most storied clubs. Eternal glory awaits one of them. Cano, Fluminense's main man. The extraordinary equaliser. Anything could happen. John Kennedy, extraordinary. For the first time, Fluminense champions.